everybody and welcome to the Bedford Life and Company. My name is Alexis and today I'm going to be making oatmeal raisin cookies. We're switching it up a little bit. I'm baking today. I usually cook but today I'm going to bake. But I do have a confession. This is the first time I'm making this recipe. Oh gosh, confession. I've never made cookies from scratch. I've actually never made cookies before ever. So this may be an epic fail. So stay tuned. So put your aprons on and let's get baking. Ready, Dad? Okay. Woo! Mm. If you're new to the channel, I would love if you could hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can stay up to date with all of our new recipes, product recommendations, and of course, new merchandise from thebedforlife.com. So by no stretch of the imagination is this my recipe. I mean, I already said, I've never baked cookies before. This is the first time, so it actually came right off the back of the oats. Thanks, ShopRite. We'll see how it goes. A cup and a half of oats, a teaspoon of baking soda, a half a cup of butter, a half a cup of raisins, three quarters of a cup of flour, and that bowl is a half a cup of regular sugar and half a cup of brown sugar. I didn't have white sugar, so I just ended up using sugar in the raw, but it is two types of sugar in there. And I have one egg with three quarters of a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a mixing bowl. Now here is where I'm gonna take my own advice because I am making some substitutions. The recipe calls for, my dog is like tap dancing. Like seriously, I don't know if you can hear that. It's ridiculous. Dude, scram. The recipe calls for shortening, but I didn't have it, so I used butter. I also did not have regular flour, I had bread flour, and to be completely honest with you, because I don't bake, I don't really know if there's a difference. Mistake number one. The recipe calls for shortening, which has a much softer consistency than actual butter. What I should have done was left the butter out for about an hour to get it soft before I started to make these cookies. It was hard and it was a little difficult to get that creamy consistency that I was looking for. Mistake number two. I got distracted and I ended up adding the bread flour and the baking soda before the eggs. I should have added the eggs and then added the flour and the baking soda. So the recipe on the back of the oat box yielded five dozen cookies, and there is no way that I could, well, there is a way. I mean, I probably could eat five dozen, but I really didn't need to eat five dozen cookies. So we ended up cutting the recipe in half. do in the description box below is leave the original recipe that's provided on the oat box and then I'll also let you know how I cut it in half and then the substitutions that I made but I would love to know how you eat your oatmeal cookies do you love them with raisins do you love them with craisins do you like them with walnuts do you like them plain let me know in the comment section below Make sure you grease your cookie sheet. Just use butter. Basically means just take a stick of butter and rub it all over the cookie sheet. I had a little help in this video. My husband actually helped me make the cookies because I had no idea what I was doing, but he's camera shy and you won't see him. We ended up using a tablespoon to measure out the cookies so that they had a consistent shape and just made them into a ball. Just smushing them with a fork slightly to flatten them out a little. So make sure you give yourself two inches around and then two inches in between each cookie. Because I don't bake, I didn't have a cooling rack. Again, this is the first time I've ever made cookies. So like I always say, use what you've got. And my husband and I had to improvise real quick. What we did was, after we took the cookies out of the oven, they cooked for about 10 to 12 minutes. We let them sit as recommended for one to two minutes. Then I just took a spatula, actually that's his hand in the video, took a spatula and took them off the hot cookie sheet and transferred them upside down to a cool cookie sheet. What this does is stops the cooking process. If you were to leave those cookies on the hot cookie sheet, they would continue to cook and most likely burn. If you leave them on there, they also become very difficult to get off. They're like petrified hockey pucks. All right, guys, here's the moment of truth. 
They have a nice brown sugar flavor. The raisins are sweet. The oatmeal has a little bit of crunch. Not bad for my first time making cookies. A little crunchy, but I like them. I'm gonna make these again. I have to admit, for my first time making cookies, I did a very good job. There's not any left. As always, go to thebedfordlife.com. If you join our mailing list, you'll get 15% off your first purchase. We have aprons and placemats and coasters and recipe cards and everything you'll need for the kitchen. They also make fantastic gifts. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.